very busy indeed tomorrow because it's Valentine's Day. But some of the cards have a huge distance between letterbox and postbox, as Connie went to find out. They're mine. Yeah, they are, Geth. There's uh, quite a few there for you. Love is in the air. 12 million Valentine's cards are sent every year. That's a lot of love and a lot of work for the country's 80,000 postmen and women. Isn't it amazing how when you post a letter in the UK, it reaches its destination by the next day. It's pretty impressive. Now here in the Blue Peter office, we receive loads of your mail. But today, we're sending our very own special piece of mail, a Blue Peter Valentine's message. And I'm gonna be following its progress over the next 24 hours. Now our special card is going to make an extraordinary journey from here in London at the BBC, that's where we are now. It's gonna travel a whopping 609 miles north northward bound to here, the Inner Hebrides and the island of Tyree. Apparently, teachers receive the largest amount of Valentine's cards in the UK, so we're going to redress that balance. And I'm going to send this Valentine's card to the students at the only school on the island. Tyree's population of 750 depends on ferries for all their supplies from the mainland. There's only one daily flight which brings post, visitors and daily newspapers. All the posts from this area of West London goes to Paddington Mail Centre to be processed. So that's where mm -hmm. I was going to head. Because I have got a special delivery now and I want to make sure that it gets there. Well, you better come with me then. All right, <laughs> will do. About one and a half million items of posts come through the doors at Paddington every day. And this is just one mail centre amongst thousands around the UK. When the mail is brought in, it's taken to this conveyor belt over here and ticked on. They come up the belt and into a drum which sorts the sizes. Any bent items or ones that are too thick or too wide are extracted and have to be sorted by hand. And then in this machine, they're turned so that the computer can read the addresses. Clever, huh? Over here, the letters are stamped with a postmark and then they're sorted into trays according to size, which means mine should be about here. Hey, what do you know? It's the first one. Ooh. Cheers, Joe. Ooh. Now, if you thought that that machine was clever, wait till you check out this one. It's actually got cameras inside and can read addresses and postcodes. But if your handwriting's really bad, the cameras take a picture, send it via computer to operators who read what the address should be and send the info back again, all in a split second. Then over here, the machine prints red barcodes on every envelope, which is needed for the next process and the next machine. Well, what do you know? Mine is on the phone. Now this trolley here is called the tango because apparently you look like you're doing the tango when you're pushing it. Hey Manuel. Now uh, this machine sorts the letters by what area of the country they're going to using the red barcode and my letter is going to be going to Glasgow before it gets to Turin. Five nights a week, mail planes fly to and from Stansted Airport to the West Country, Northern Ireland, Northern England and Scotland. Each night, 120 tonnes of mail is loaded on and off planes here. That's about two and a half million letters and I do not want to lose mine in that lot. Now, although my letter is being hand delivered, it still has to go through security with all the rest. Hey, Andrew. Once through security, the post is loaded into crates and onto a mail plane. It flies to Edinburgh, where post for other areas of Scotland is transported to mail centres by van. My Valentine's message has flown through the night. I wish that I could fly into the sky so very high. We landed early next morning and all the posts came off. After being resorted overnight, it was off to Glasgow Airport to catch a final plane to Tyree. Whoa! Well, I have arrived in style. All of this mail here has to go on this lovely little plane here. 
Luckily that morning the weather wasn't too bad. If there is fog, the planes can't take off and so no one on Tyree gets their post until the next day. The mail is collected from the plane by Tyree's postal workers before I complete the last leg of its journey. Oh, finally! We are here at Tyree School with all their mail plus one rather important card. Sorry to interrupt. Hello. Hello. I have been travelling for ages, 609 miles, all the way from London to deliver all the mail to your school today. And uh, I've just got one special delivery left. So could I have a volunteer, please? What's your name? Isabel. Isabel, can you open this card? It's from everyone at Blue Peter, for everyone at Tyree Primary School. It's a Valentine's card to say Happy Valentine's Day. So Happy Valentine's Day, everyone, and have a wonderful day. Whew. So finally, I have delivered my card. Now, ordinarily, that card would have gone through the hands of 10 different postal workers on his epic journey from London to here, but I did it all myself, which was fun, but pretty exhausting. So from now on, I am gonna leave it to the experts. Connie got a very own stamp. Did you notice that? That's, That's amazing. Cool. Absolutely, she deserves it as well.